hello YouTube. I am coming to you to give you a what I am packing in me and my husband's hospital bag. Um, we are like 10, 9, 10 days away from our due date. Um, so I'm just playing it safe, packing our bag. First time parents, you know, we don't really know what is going to happen or how this is going to go. But, um, so I have everything laid out in piles and we are just going to pack a bag together um, because my husband's the one who's going to be carrying pretty much everything. So we'll just kind of get right into this. I'll show you what I'm packing for him, what I'm packing for myself um, and um, other things that I'm taking. There are some things that aren't going to be packed because obviously I use my makeup and I need that and we use our shampoo and conditioner and we need that. <laughs> so that'll be like a last minute packing thing and like our toothbrush and all that last minute. But let's just get right into it. So this is the bag that we are going to take. This is like my husband and I, like our go-to um, travel bag these days. Every time we go somewhere, we always take the duffel. <laughs> so, just gonna kind of bring you along as I pack the bag. He has it like folded weird. <laughs> so the first thing that um, I was told to take was personal towels. So I have one for my husband and I'm taking my big beach towel because I like bigger towels. <laughs> so we have those I um will probably roll those up and I'm gonna put them on the side so I'm not gonna put them in right now but for the stuff that I am packing for my husband I packed we should be in the hospital for two days that's what my doctor said two days so I, I tend to overpack um but I just grabbed him some like khaki shorts um basketball shorts some like long pajama pants in case he's cold and then these are just like soft lounge pants it's not like we have to be dressed up we're in the hospital <laughs> not doing anything not dressing to impress and then i did grab him out some jeans because for us to come home i made him a shirt and so he might want to wear jeans or his basketball shorts so i just packed that for him and then for his shirts, I packed his daddy shirt that I made. Um, just another uh, two little shirts for him. So he has options. And then lastly, I packed two pairs of socks. Um, he uses these like hankies. So two of those and two pairs of boxers. So he has that. And socks. I, oh, I said socks. They're in there. <laughs> so that is everything that I packed for him. <laughs> um, now for myself, I kind of am giving myself options because I don't really know what I'm going to want to wear. Um, so let me just grab my pile here. And I'll just kind of show you everything that I have. So I made us matching shirts. So I have a mommy shirt and I did pack a pair of maternity, like my darker colored maternity pants because I am pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to wear normal clothes. Um, so I packed those in case I wanna wear pants. Honestly though, I probably won't. Um, I did also pack just some black like tights so we have those as an option as well. And then I have these um, pants, like long pajama pants that are super soft with a black shirt. Or if I decide I wanna wear these home, I can wear my mommy shirt or not. Like, I don't know if the mommy shirt's gonna work because when I made it, it's a medium and I'm currently wearing a large because my mediums like rise up. Um, and then, I have this maternity um, breastfeeding gown, which I'll probably end up wearing like 
pretty much the whole time I'm there. So I can breastfeed and everything. And the last thing I packed is just this loose fitted dress. Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna wanna wear this home because it's not gonna be like tight on my stomach or anything. I mean, first time mom, like I said, I don't know how this is gonna go, but that's just how I'm thinking. I'm probably gonna wanna wear this, especially after wearing like a comfortable breastfeeding gown and comfy like pajamas. So that's all the like clothes that I packed. Once again, we're in the hospital. Uh, I'm not dressing to impress anybody. I just want to be comfortable and enjoy the time with my husband and our baby. So that's what I packed clothes wise. Um, and then I have, let me grab this stuff. So I have options. I'm probably not going to need that, but I have two um breastfeeding bras are the ones that have this little like clasp i will probably end up wearing this one because it is like the loosest and the like, most comfortable this one's comfortable but this one has a wire and so i'm sure i'm not going to want to wear a wire so i'll probably end up wearing the black one <laughs> and then i have two pairs of three pairs of socks just to be on the safe side and I have granny panties. <laughs> I also have these. I've seen so many videos about these and that people highly recommend them. So I'm taking them and we're gonna try them out. Um, I have the packages open because I already put some in my like postpartum um, little box in the bathroom. So I'm just gonna take these as well. And then I have this Haka, which apparently is super, super like a must have. So we have that, it has been sterilized and is ready to go. And an unopened thing of nipple cream, cause I'm not sure if the hospital is gonna give this or not. So I'm taking it just to be on the safe side. Um, I'm also taking our little Polaroid camera because I want to take pictures of the baby with the camera. And then obviously we have our phones and stuff, so we'll have that. And, um, like I said, we'll end up packing our, like, toiletries and all of that stuff when the time comes because we need to brush our teeth and wash her hair <laughs> um and so and my husband has like this already packed bag but I'm not sure where it is um but we'll end up taking that with us and it has everything so this is just everything that I think we're gonna need um I'm pretty excited we like I said we're so so we are so close to the end of this pregnancy journey. I cannot wait to get to meet our little guy. I mean, it's just so exciting. So I will um, keep you guys updated and I'll see you on the next video. If y'all have any um, baby video requests or anything, let me know. I will do my best to make the videos. Like I said, I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know if I'm just gonna like go into labor or if little man is gonna be like, no mom and dad, you're gonna have to wait a little bit. Like, I don't know. So I will keep you guys updated and I will see you in the next video. Bye.